guys, so today I decided to film my products that I've used up video for the month of February and March because I have started to collect all of these products since February. Um, most of them are hair products, but some of them are makeup. Um, I have tried about every shampoo and conditioner and hair repairment anything at the drugstore there is because I tried out everything for my hair that is completely dead. Um, the reason for that is because I wash my hair every day, I straighten it or um, you know use hot tools on it every day and um, I have dry hair um, as it is. So it doesn't help any but I still manage to keep my hair looking healthy by using all of these shampoos. So if you guys, if you guys would like to see what products that I've used up then keep on watching. So I guess I'm going to start off with the products that are right behind me that are hair products. Um, so the first thing I have here is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. I'm absolutely obsessed with this conditioner. It's a deep conditioner, but I use it as an everyday condi conditioner because it smells so good and it really repairs my hair. I do not put this on my scalp. I put it on the ends and like from my ear down, like I put it on that part of my hair because it doesn't make it oily. And this smells like coconuts. Everything from Aussie I feel like smells like coconuts, which I don't really like coconuts, but this actually does smell good and it works very well. I heard about this on YouTube. I'm sure everyone has. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely go try this out if you are looking for a good deep conditioner. So, um, the next thing I have here is also a conditioner. This is a Tresemme Split, Re Split Remedy. I've gone through two of these, as you guys can see. I'm not using this um, conditioner at the moment or shampoo, but this stuff does smell good, and um, obviously I went through two bottles, so it does work. It makes my hair really soft, and it smells really, really, really good. Um, I wish I could describe to you what it smells like. If you have this, you know what it smells like, but it smells like the shampoo you would use at the salon, and there's hair on that. That's gross. Um, but... Yeah, this stuff is amazing, and I definitely recommend this. I think these bottles are kind of expensive for their little, like, bottles, I guess. They have a big one and a little one. They're, like, $5 at Target. That's where I get mine, or at Walmart. And um, I absolutely love these, so I would definitely recommend these conditioners to you guys. If you guys are wondering, I've been holding this stuff underneath my sink for two months now, and I'm so glad to get it out because all these things are empty. So, um, but yeah. So the next thing I have is this, this shampoo, this shampoo, this is the Macadamia's um, Rejuvenating Shampoo. It smells like, let me investigate, it smells like, works. it's $30 at Ross, that's where I got it from, but I got it on sale for $20, if you guys can see that. Um, but this stuff smells so good and I really want to try out the mask. Everyone tried out the mask but me, but um, this stuff is absolutely amazing. My hair is so soft and it looks really, really healthy by using this shampoo. It is kind of pricey, but um, just a little pea size amount works on your hand and it lasts a long time. This lasted me about two months and this is not that big of a bottle as you guys can see. But um, I really, really like this shampoo and um, I can't wait to try out the mask. But this is a really, really good shampoo and it smells really good. So here is the shampoo to the split in remedy um, little category. And this stuff works well as well just as a conditioner. It smells really good and it makes my hair really soft, I think. Um, so if you don't do your hair every day and you only style it, um, like once or twice a week definitely use this and you will see a difference in the split end remedy my hair is so dead that you can see the white parts of my hair like at the ends of my hair I don't really know what to describe I don't know I'm gonna show you guys up close what my hair looks like so you guys can see how dead it looks this is what my hair looks like it is so fried you guys can see how like splitty it looks <laughs> um, so I only dye it every month but yeah, so that's what my hair looks like. It looks really, really disgusting. I didn't do it all week besides today. I did straighten it. Is it, like, focused on me? Okay, there it is. Sorry. Um, so I didn't do my hair all week. I just straightened it today because I felt like it. Um, I think I'm going to start doing that, just doing a sock bun every day. Like this video if you want me to do my sock bun because I got the, like, hot, I think it's called hot roll, hot buns. Yeah, hot buns. My mom bought me that. It's a thing you see on TV. That stuff is amazing. It works and I love it. So like this video if you would like to see that video next because I really want to film it because I've been wearing a sock bun every day this day. Every day this week besides today I pulled it up in a ponytail and straightened it. But um, anyways. So another shampoo I have is the Dove Hair Therapy Daily Moisture Shampoo. This helps with damaged hair. This stuff smells really good. It is kind of expensive but I think anything that is from Dove works really, really good. And, um, yeah, so this is just like a repair my shampoo as well, but I've used this up and it smells amazing. And, um, 
I would definitely recommend getting this. So, I also have a conditioner. You guys have seen this in a couple of my favorites videos, I think. This is the L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Intense Smoothing Conditioner. I've used a lot of the conditioners from L'Oreal. I have the other one, the white one I talked about in my last favorites video. I've gone through that, but I, my mom threw away the container because she was using it too, so I didn't get to show you guys what it looks like. But it's a white one of this, and you guys should definitely go get that. It smells so, 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 so amazing, and it works really, really good on your hair and I feel like when you're taking a shower and you put conditioner in your hair and it feels soft that's what it feels like when you get out of the shower so that definitely shows you that it does work so um, but this is the other one that they use as well this one smells kind of like oranges I think but this one does work as well and uh, yeah um, my last hair product besides this is my um, L'Oreal Paris Total Repairs Restoring Shampoo. I got the new pink one that's color repairant or color something that helps your color stay in when you dye your hair. Um, but this one smells like candy. You guys definitely go check this out. I love this stuff a lot and um, definitely go check it out. They have different kinds of different colors. Um, at the moment I'm using the pink one which is way bigger than this one. This one's actually tiny compared to the bigger one. But um, I didn't use the big one up so that's why I didn't bring it in here. But um, this stuff smells really good and it's really cheap. It's new from L'Oreal if you guys are wondering. The hair product to have is the Chi Iron Guard. Um, this stuff is really good. It smells like men's cologne. This stuff does really work and I uh, don't know what else to say about it because I didn't use it that much. Now I'm using the Tresemme one but um, yeah I do like that. So one skincare product that I've used up. I have another one but I'm not quite done with it. So this is the Neutrogena's Rapid Clear Foaming Scrub. I use this in the shower. I love this stuff. I feel like it really clears my acne and it gives a nice cleansing feeling once you take off your makeup and it's just like you clean your face. It makes your face really soft and it smells like oranges. So I would definitely go try this out. It works amazing. I have moving on to my makeup part where I'm going to show you guys makeup that I've used up. Um, it's not that much but whatever. So the first thing I've used up but I'm still currently using um, is my True Match foundation. I know I think I said this that I regret buying this but I absolutely love this foundation now. I don't know what's about it. It's just so blendable and it doesn't make me look orange. It's like my perfect shade. So I'm in the color Classic Ivory. This stuff is really like gone but it still somehow comes out but um, yeah so I love this foundation and I've used that up. I've also used up my Stay Matte Rimmel Powder. Um, it's pretty much gone. I mean, I use it, but it's, you know, it's it's gone. Um, and I love this stuff because it's really cheap. It's one of my favorite um, powders, and I look really matte with it on. I don't look, you know, um, orange or anything, and it doesn't make me look cakey. You just look pretty flawless. Um, another powder I've used up is the CoverGirl Clean Control Pest Press Powder. This is what it looks like. Um, and this thing is so cheap that it breaks like well it's not broken all the way but now it is so yeah it's broken um, but I do like this powder as well it just makes I just don't like it because um, it's it always breaks like I've had like four of these and they all broke so but this one is for um, what is this for oil control but I like it because it makes me look matte and I don't I'm not oily I'm dry but it still looks good when I apply it so I have that um, I've used up two mas or three mascaras. Um, this, their real mascara from Benefit is one of my favorite mascaras out of all time that I've ever purchased. It is $26, but it's totally worth it because it's the best mascara and I've had it for a long time. But, um, yeah, the only thing I didn't like about it was the bristles are a little bit hard, so don't get too close to your lash line because you can, like, poke yourself. Um, but I do love this mascara. I don't know what's about it. It has the same bristles as any other brush, but it's just perfect. So that's what the bristles look like. I love this. Um, I got mine at Ulta. I'm probably going to repurchase this as well as the Bad Gal Lash because I like that mascara because the wand is really thick. But yeah, I love this Benefit The Real, but I used it up. I also use up my Maybelline's Mega Plush Mascara. I love this because it really plumps your lashes and makes them really long and volumized. And um, this is what the applicator looks like. It's really, really full looking. So, um, but yeah, I love this mascara. And I also used up my L'Oreal one. I'm not sure what this is called. I know it's by L'Oreal, but um, yeah. So this brush is also really, really thick. Um, this used to be my favorite mascara. I used to use it all the time with one application. With one with one like coat, like using one mascara, this one makes your lashes look really full and lengthenized and um, just like perfect. So, this mascara is 
probably my favorite drugstore mascara um, and my uh, Mega Plush. Um, I have another one, but you guys will see that in my March favorites, so I can't say that yet. Um, so, I also have used up my Proactive Step 2 toner. I love this stuff. I feel like it really dries up um, oil and just dirt and cleans off my face. And, um, yeah, so it's all gone. I'm sad, but I love this stuff a lot. And uh, I'm probably going to repurchase this. I don't really like the um, actual Proactive Scrub because it's too rough for my skin. But I do love the toner and the moisturizer, so... Um, I also use these up. These are my, my Pond's Luminous Clean. I'm never purchasing these again, and I know I say that about a lot of things, but I'm literally never going to buy these again. My lashes, and I rip them out every time that I rub my eyes. I always rip out my, um, eyelashes. So, I'm definitely never using those again, but, yeah. Um, I also used up my Revlon Colorstay Foundation. I went through like three of these. This is like so gone because I've had this forever. <laughs> but um, I was in the color, what color is this in? Oh, Natural Beige. And this was during the summer. So I've been out of this for a long time. But um, yeah, anyways, already used that up. Um, so I also used up my Age We Won instant concealer. Um, I was in the color fair. I love this concealer kind of, but it didn't really give good full coverage, but I did use it up. So, um, yeah. I also used up this Define a Line soft black eyeliner from Maybelline. That's how much was left, and that's a nub. I bought a new one, um, but yeah. So I really like this eyeliner because it's so dark, and it's really easy for me to um, line my tight line because it kind of just like rolls up my eye. Um, so... Yeah, but I've used that up. I've also used my Dream With Me Touch Concealer. I really don't like any drugstore concealers. Like, just to be honest, the only one I really like is the True Match, or what is it? Um, what is it called? This one. This is, oh wait, no, that's not the right one. This one is the one I've been loving, and this is the Match Perfection from Rimmel. This is my only favorite concealer from the drugstore. This one kind of looks orange when you apply it, but that's why I apply it first, then I apply my foundation, so... That one and my um, Glamouflage are my only two concealers that I like from the drugstore. So, um, but yeah, I use my Dream Lumi Touch. My Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I've used this for such a long time. This is a great primer. Um, when I go shopping this weekend, I'm going to be pu purchasing the bigger one because it's totally worth it. But um, I'm really sad that it's gone, but I got the tester, so that's why it's gone. But um, yeah, I got that. Also, I used up my Master Precise. Um, eyeliner thingy. I didn't use it all up, I don't think, but it's like dried up, so, um, yeah. Um, and sadly, my color wheel from New York City, NYC, it broke. So, I can't use it unless I put it in something and just, like, dab my brush in it. I'm probably just gonna throw it away and buy a new one, but, yeah. That's what sucks about cheap drugstore powders, is that they always break. Um, and I also used up a couple of MAC products. This is the last thing I have right here is the Maybelline Dream BB Cream. I used it up. It's gone. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I have three MAC products that I used up. I put them in this bag because if you have six MAC products that you used up, you can put them, turn them into MAC and you can get a free lipstick. So I have three right here. I have more MAC products in my makeup collection, but, um, these are the only ones that I've used up. So I used up my Max Fix Plus. I honestly didn't like it that much. It's only $20, so I don't really care about that. But um, I didn't like it that much as I thought I would. But I'm probably going to repurchase it anyways because um, I, this is like the only one I've tried that's better than like the other ones. I don't really know. I just feel like this really absorbed the makeup. But I didn't like how it was like really wet when you first put it on. So um, I've also used up my Max Prep and Prime transparent finishing powder this was white and this literally did not last me that long so I just wanted you guys um, but I still use this as a mirror sometimes so but yeah and my last product that I've used up is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I love this concealer it is the most amazing concealer ever and um, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this weekend when I go shopping so but this is what it looks like this is really good I love it and yeah so that is everything that I've used up. If you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon in my next one. Bye.